Hi, it's Charlie Minato from Halfway.com, and today I am reviewing this, which is the Herrix Cigar Tape. I believe it's the lightest product that we have ever reviewed here at Halfway. It doesn't really weigh much. As you can see, it is four tapes in one. It is designed in the USA, made in Germany, and there's a little bit of an, some instructions on the uh, the back here that basically explain the product. And what it is is a piece of tape. Looks like this. I'm gonna move the camera all the way out so we can see the full length of the tape and all of its goodness. So it's actually backwards there. So it is a two-sided piece of tape and uh, on each side there is two different um, measurement or ways to measure things. So uh, on here you have ring gauge, which I'm gonna get to in a second, and then you have inches uh, from zero to 25 all the way down there. Um, and then on the back um, you have uh, diameter again, this time in millimeters, and then you also have uh, length in centimeters from zero to 65 for our non-American friends. And so uh, this is something that's designed to measure cigars. That's why it's a cigar tape. And uh, you might be wondering why this is useful, and I'll admit that this probably has a relatively limited audience, but it is designed to replace a product that uh, I don't, unfortunately don't have here at the office, so I'm going to put a picture up on the screen. And what you're seeing is a picture of what looks to be like a paddle, and it's used at cigar factories to um, ensure the consistency of ring gauge. Um, and so you just slide the cigars through the holes in there, and um, if it's supposed to be a 50 ring gauge, you put it through the, the hole that's marked 50. And those things are useful factories to help ensure consistency. And there's a couple of people that have brought them over to the US or to the consumer market um, to be used. The unfortunate part is, is that they only work on round cigars and really on perfectly round cigars. And so what this tape is designed to do is to be able to do all sorts of cigars. And so, um, well, it's easy to measure the length of a cigar. So uh, here I have an H. Upman Mag 56. And so we'll start here, let's see if we can Zoom all the way in, and so uh, you just take the cigar, and you could do this with any standard ruler, and you just put it at zero, and then you could look and see where it ends up, and if you get it perfectly straight, it would be a little bit easier. Um, and you can measure the length of the cigar pretty easily. But when it comes to ring gauge, it's a little bit more challenging, and that's because ring gauge is actually the diameter of the cigar, so that would be from here to here if we have... Uh, not, let's see if we can get it. So from this this measurement, uh, not this measurement, but this measurement, and uh, it's in 60 fourths of an inch, which is a really bizarre number. And unless you have a pair of calipers that you could really set to measure only in 60 fourths of an inch, it's pretty challenging to figure out the ring gauge of something. So what this tape does is it fixes that problem. So what you do is you just put the tape up to the cigar, and even though you're only trying to measure diameter, uh, you're actually going to just wrap the tape around and it's angled so that you don't have any issues when it comes to not measuring straight um, and so that it's a lot easier to read because a lot of these measurements are going to be pretty tiny and so you can see right there it is in fact exactly 56 ring gauge um, and so uh, it, there's little markings here to help delineate um, the, the differences and so if we take what's probably the easiest cigar um, to measure uh, so this is uh, one of E.P. Creo's inch. This is the inch ringmaster. So the reason why it's got the inch name is because uh, the ring gauge for one of the sizes in the inch line is actually 64 out of 60 fourths of an inch. So it's a full inch in diameter. Now, this is not that cigar. I believe this is the 62 ring gauge. It's Although it's measuring, as you can see here, a 63 ring gauge. Now, what's interesting about um, these products is that... Uh, when it comes to round cigars, it's pretty easy, but with box press cigars, it's a lot more challenging. And the reason behind that is because box press cigars come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, and you uh, you can't put a square through a circular hole, at least not if you want to try to measure how uh, accurate it is. So uh, this product works great with box press cigars. So you do the exact same thing. So you just put that here, and then you wrap that around and line it up. This measurement's, uh, so what is that? 53 ring gauge for the uh, Oliva Sirvi Milanio Figurato. And uh, it also, sorry, there's a fridge going off in the background. It works with even some of the more bizarre shapes. So this is a particularly unique cigar, probably the, one of the more, un if not the most unique cigar we have in our humidors here at the office. So it starts round and then it gets super box press. So it's a rectangular box press and then it gets round again um, and it's obviously a double perfecto. So uh, the good news is, is it works just like uh, with any of the other cigars. So you just put this here, 
wrap it around and so that is uh, 46 it looks like and then the best part is you can just slide it up here and do the exact same thing with this box press portion just like we did with the Milanio and uh, let's see it's certainly thinner um, 49 which I actually think is the actual right size so uh, that's how you measure the cigars now unfortunately uh, there are some limitations it only goes up to 100 ring gauge now if you're trying to smoke cigars that are over 100 ring gauge uh, yikes um, so it means for something like this uh, the infamous Opus X football uh, which is well over 100 ring gauge this product will not work because it's uh, it's just not long enough so you can see 100 gets it to what probably is about 40 ring gauge short for uh, let's see if I guess that's actually the so there's a hundred and as you can see that's where it needed to get to so it won't work with that it also won't work with uh, with something like this the even more infamous Cro-Magnon femur which is absolutely massive um, so it won't work with products like that for that you're gonna need to go back to the the tape measure and you're gonna need to use uh, a calculator or some pen and paper to do the math but otherwise it's a uh, it's a pretty effective product and um, I really love having it around the office here because we are sent cigars all the time and sometimes they don't end up measuring what we are told and it's always interesting to be able to check that in an easy manner and this is by far the easiest manner that I have found to do so the one downside is the price this is twenty four dollars um, online th directly from Herrick's and so it's a little bit pricey and I'm also just not sure as a consumer unless you're smoking a lot of unbanded cigars how useful this would be most cigar manufacturers don't make a ton of sizes that are close uh, to another size in that line so you can help delineate it also from a sales perspective doesn't doesn't have uh, make a lot of sense to have that overlap so it's pretty easy to identify a cigar just based off of one or two measurements um, and just kind of by eyeballing it but if you want to be super accurate and you want to have the easiest time to measure almost every cigar in your humidor, I think the Herrick Cigar Tape is your best option. And for more reviews of cigars and cigar accessories, albeit I don't think any other cigar measurement devices, uh, please check out halfwheel.com.